The freshmen are coming. Have you heard? A new class of lawmakers will be sworn in this week when Congress reconvenes. Among them, some young women who showed even before their elections that they're not afraid to shake things up. Joining me is Kelsey Harkness, fellow with the Independent Women's Forum and a senior producer at The Daily Signal, and Ben Kissel, radio talk show host and political commentator. Welcome to you both. Thanks. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, Kelsey, I want to start with you. Let's talk about some of these uh, up, uh, incoming freshmen. Uh, as we mentioned, there are several young liberal rising stars. One of the great unknowns as we start the new year will be if and how much they can change Washington. I think the question of whether this incoming freshman class can change Washington is a really interesting one uh, because usually I'd be cynical and say absolutely not. It's going to be business as usual. But I think there is something different, especially among the Democrats. You see a lot of motivation and you see they're very outspoken and not necessarily going to get in line with Nancy Pelosi when uh, she tells them you know, what messages to be out there promoting. Someone like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is already out there with a very far left pl platform that we don't know if all Democrats are going to be able to unite around. So I think it is uh, going to be perhaps a little bit different uh, this year than others, but it's also important to remember that the government was set up to um, not allow change. Um, in fact, it's very difficult to pass legislation, so perhaps it won't be so different after all. You know, Ben, when you look down the calendar, you're looking at 2019 and all that's about to come with more announcements for those who are oh, yeah. going to throw their hat into the ring. You've got, you know, the health care issue, jobs, border security, such a big one right now. What right. will be the big message that needs to be out there for these candidates? What are you waiting well, to hear? You know, that's the, that's the exciting thing about <laughs> campaigns. We are going to have a real diverse group of individuals running for the Democratic nominee, whether it be a Michael Bloomberg type, who obviously has different uh, ideas of, of Wall Street than someone like a Sherrod Brown or an Elizabeth Warren. This is a good thing for the Democratic Party. And one of the stories that I don't think has really been covered enough, when it comes to the 66 seats that the Democrats were able to win in the midterms, only 25 of those seats went to so-called progressive candidates like the aforementioned Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. For every one of uh, those progressives, there's a round two of the Colin Allreds of the world. Colin Allred, he unseated Pete Sessions in Texas. There's 41 more moderate Democrats. Uh, over 20 Democrats ran in, in districts that Donald Trump won. So the Democratic Party right now, when people talk about saying, uh, they say, where is the leadership? Well, hey, that's why we have elections. That's why we have campaigns. And I think they're in a really good spot right now. You make some good points there, Kelsey. I want I'll let you bounce off of what Ben just said. Well, when we look at the race for 2020 among the Democrats, they certainly do have a deep, diverse field. But I think what's important for Republicans to keep in mind and message on is the fact that um, that this is really a competition among the left of who can call for the most free stuff without repelling too many moderate voters. And we need to keep in mind that no matter who eventually becomes the front runner, the policies that Democrats are now calling for across the board are very progressive, very far left, and going to be very harmful for all Americans. Well, let me just say this when it comes to the free stuff idea. I don't think there's anything wrong with a teacher saying that maybe uh, he or she shouldn't have to pay for their own school school supplies. Uh, the average salary is around $57,000 a year at this point. Nurses around $67,000 a year. There is something wrong with our system when teachers have to, uh, in, some place, uh, in some cases, apply for um, uh, food stamps and, and government assistance. It's not the nation we should be living in. And I don't think that that makes you far left if you want to have uh, fair wages for people who, uh, you know, take care of our children. I want to ask you both, you know, it's, it's Tuesday right now. It kind of still feels like the weekend. The big news of the week so far is that, you know, we had the announcement from Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Uh, we're now hearing today that she'll be making her first trip to Iowa this weekend as a potential 2020 candidate. She reportedly already has four events on the books. Looking at her uh, calendar now, here's what Warren had to say yesterday. Let's listen. I run for office because I'm grateful down to my toes for the opportunities that were given to me, and I am determined that we will give those same opportunities, not just to some of our kids, but to all of our kids. All right, so how much will this help her in getting out in front like this? She's the first one to come out. 
Well, I think that she came out, um, you know, it, it's interesting timing, obviously, coming out before 2019. Um, I think she wanted to control the news cycle for as long as possible. Again, there could be upwards of almost 50 candidates uh, in the race. So it's going to be tough to get any attention whatsoever. So I think that's probably why she she came out uh, so early and also try to reshift the narrative of okay. some of the political mistakes from her recent past. Kelsey, last word real quick. Elizabeth Warren came out early because she knows she's in trouble. I think she has somewhere between a 1 and 164th and 1 and 1,024 chance of winning. It's definitely a deep field, and I think she has a tough road ahead of her. All right, Kelsey, Ben, we got to leave it there. Thank you so much, and Happy New Year to you both. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks. All right, you guys, thanks.